Hello comrades! Do you want to shield your lips from chapped lips? Today I present to you a Captain America Shield EOS. Let me show you how to make it. We are going to start off with an EOS container. I'm going to make mine with a new EOS, but you can also make this from scratch if you look at my older videos. Cut off the tip of your EOS and add this to a heat safe bowl or glass. Next, add in some blue eyeshadow or lipstick if you have some. Now cut off another third of the EOS and add this to a second bowl. We're going to add in some red eyeshadow to this one. You can also add in lipstick or a blush if you have some. Take a box cutter or a knife and pop out the grate. Be very careful when you do this because you can cut yourself. I personally never cut myself doing this, but you know, it can happen, it can always happen. <laughs> okay, so clean out the grate and add this to a third glass. In this one, we're going to add in some white. Okay, cover your surface because this is all going to get very waxy and messy. Add your top lid to the bottom lid so it's nice and stable. Take your blue color and pop it in the microwave for one to two minutes so it's nice and melted. Once it's melted, use a chopstick or a straw, something you don't mind getting messy, and mix it all up so the color disperses. Take your time with this and pour it into the very center of the lid so it stays a nice circle. While this dries, we're going to go ahead and heat up our red glass. Just like last time, we're going to go ahead and pour this very slowly. Make sure not to over pour because then the white later on won't show. Screw in the grate, then pour in your third final glass. If you have some extras of the other ones, go ahead and pour this in as well because the liquid needs to rise above the grate so the lip balm has something to hold on to. Let this freeze for 30 minutes so it's nice and solid. Once it's solid, take the bottom lid then pop it onto the grate like this. Now when you unscrew it, you'll get a nice multi-leveled EOS like this. Now I'm going to take this star miniature clay cutter that you can find at your local crafting store. And I'm going to go ahead and press down into the blue section. Make sure to keep your star straight and not angled at all because then the star won't come out perfect. See, in the beginning, I kind of had mine angled so the star didn't end up coming out perfect. I mean, it's okay though, nothing has to be perfect, but just work really slowly when you do this so that the EOS doesn't crack and break. Now you'll have a nice hollow star like this. Doesn't it look kind of creepy? It looks like some weird organ. It's kind of weird. Now take one of your glasses and add in either some shea butter with coconut oil and beeswax or you can take some lip balm um, if you have some on the side and add it to this glass. We need to make up some wax so we can fill in the star. Add in some gray eyeshadow and microwave it just like we did with all the other ones. Take your time with this and slowly pour it in. It's very easy to overfill this so don't rush. Even if you do overfill it, you can just clean it off with your fingers, so it's really no big deal. It's better to just kind of underfill it just a little bit than to overfill it because then you just have to spend more time cleaning it up. And this is the final product, you guys, the Captain America Shield EOS. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, stylers, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do try it out, please share with me on social media using the hashtag DIYWithSophie. Also, please take a moment to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and also on Snapchat now so we can get to know each other and become friends and whatnot. I will see you guys on Friday with a new video. Oh, 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 oh. I will be at VidCon next week, so if you see me, say hello. Don't be shy. Let's take photos, get to know each other. Now, if you can't make it to VidCon, you can also see me at the Americana in Glendale at 1 o'clock on Sunday, July 26th. I'm going to include all the information for the meet and greet as well as VidCon in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. I will see you in another video this Friday. Keep styling.